The public's interest stems from the pressing economic challenges we face today, such as skyrocketing fuel and housing prices. Let's plan to axe the tax, build the homes, fix the budget, and stop the crime. But of course, the NDP is keeping the, this costly prime minister in office for another year and a half. Well, they, people starve and are forced to live in tents. Those Canadians who've been able to hold on to their homes, they can't afford a vacation, but maybe a staycation. So we're asking today that the prime minister vote for a motion we will introduce tomorrow which will give Canadians a 35 cent a liter gas tax break until Labor Day. Will the prime minister ax the taxes so Canadians can have a staycation? This is more money in people's pockets while we fight climate change with the most effective plan against climate change Canada has ever seen. Of course, the prime minister is doing neither. After nine years, the NDP Liberal Prime Minister is not worth the cost, and neither is his carbon tax, which the Parliamentary Budget Officer finds costs more to 60% of Canadians than they get back in phony rebates. Uh, Mr. Speaker, going into the summer, the Prime Minister plans to hike taxes again. Canadians need a break now more than the ever. Can he put aside his wacko ideology long enough to give Canadians a break by axing all the taxes on fuel for summer vacation. That's exactly what this government has, has done. Excluding the pandemic, our emissions are now the lowest they've been in 25 years because of our plan that prices pollution and puts more money back in the pockets out of eight of 10 Canadian families. In this climate, Justin Trudeau and Pierre Poilievre stand at opposing ends with their proposed solutions. Their differing viewpoints fuel a broader societal debate on the government's role in balancing climate change response with economic stability. The focus lies on financial responsibility and the effective management of public funds by the government. Pierre Poilievre vehemently opposes the carbon tax, holding the conservative belief that minimizing taxes can alleviate individual financial burdens and reduce government intervention thereby fostering economic growth. His stance highlights the necessity for pragmatic solutions to the economic difficulties plaguing Canadians, particularly the high fuel prices and cost of living. Canadians' cognitive and emotional responses to the carbon tax and other economic policies reflect a widespread anxiety and frustration. Poilievre's impassioned discourse on the cost of living and housing crisis resonates deeply echoing the collective feelings of despair and helplessness. Conversely, Trudeau seeks to sway public opinion by focusing on the long-term environmental benefits and financial reimbursements, asserting that investing in climate change solutions is a more prudent use of taxpayer money than immediate refunds.